trying to get the fuck up out the jets But they ain't all been as hard as you try to get me there A lot of rappers in my city had these niggas wet And I ain't never been a bitch, I'm keeping shit a step And some do it to the DJ, they should take us back I've been a Jesus kid and this goes up and have a jacks I swear to God, I can never love a dumb hoe She live on my road, I swear she ran the bottom road See, all my niggas never love them, they be shagged though Cause all these Instagram famous bitches shagged though My mama told me boys I can't see that the same hoe Cause all these bitches ever wanted was your same hoe Man, life is good. Life is good on this side. So, um, we just gonna get straight into it. Um, well, first of all, let's give some people some background on you because, um, you know, we got people listening from all across the globe, and uh, you know, studios right here in Baltimore, but um, people all across the globe aren't totally familiar with Take Cobain yet. But this kid is making uh, a shitload. I can't even say a hell, a hell, a hell lot of noise. Like a shitload of noise Big in the city. Which has trans transpired to uh, go outside the city into other cities and uh, even put you in a new space right now. So just give give the people of the world just a little background information about yourself, who you are, and exactly where you're from and all that. Uh, uh, Tate Cobain, born and raised in Northeast Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just did that Bank Rose joint. I mean, shout out 300. The old Cohen, Todd Moskis, everybody over at nice. 300. They just came and picked us up. So. I mean, we working. Uh, yeah, man, I'm just a cool young nigga, man. I like, I like to make music. <laughs> just a cool young nigga. <laughs> that's, that's what I do. I be chilling. That was modest. <laughs> <laughs> just a cool young nigga. <laughs> oh shit. But yeah, but uh, York's like an untapped market. So just just knowing that you that you came from out out that area doing some shit. So uh, so so you live there? Yeah, I, I lived there for six years. Uh, you know, got kids there. Lost mom there. That's home. <laughs> Okay. That's another home right there. Okay, yeah, and I was going to touch on that. Um, so, so you lost your moms at an early age? Yeah. Uh, just, just, uh, day before my 21st. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my early, man. About two, two, uh, two months later. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, it was a crazy year. That's why I was going hard like this. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. So how, how long you been spitting all together? It's been about five or six years. Okay. I, 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 mean, I was always in the music, played the saxophone, tap dance, was on the choir. Little corny shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Some niggas make living out that. Oh yeah, definitely, corny. Definitely, definitely, definitely got me where I'm at now. I appreciate all types of music and you know art and everything. But I just wish I'd have started rapping earlier. You know? So, so at what point did you say, "Alright, this is what this is what I want to do"? When I started making money off of it. <laughs> that's, that's that's what it was. I was like, "Oh, this shit is real, nigga. This is a hundred dollars <laughs> off of." Fifty-three words. Yeah. So that was that was the first that was the first check was a hundred dollars. It wasn't. I, I didn't even get to keep all of it, but it, <laughs> it was a hundred dollars. It was a hundred with a booking fee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Made that shit stretch though. Yeah. But yeah. What, what, so so, but you just getting out there and you just got the new situation now. Explain to people your situation before we get into that. Uh, right now we with uh, three hundred. Uh, they also just picked up uh, Fetty Wap, Migos, they got Glizzy, the T Wayne. So it's it's it's, 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 it's a pretty heavy big line. Pretty he pretty heavy thug? Ross. Thug? Yeah. They got thug. Oh yeah, they got oh, Thug yeah, too. Free thug, thug, Free Glizzy, Free yeah. Fetty Wap. They got Young Thug. Free, free three hundred. Free the whole. <laughs> they got the whole. <laughs> they got all the locked up. They niggas. got right. Well, no, he said nah, it's Young Thug. Yeah, <laughs> they got Young Thug. Yeah, they got oh, yeah. Thug. Okay. Oh, yeah. She she whispered thug. in my ear now that it's called Free Thug. Free Thug. <laughs> no. They have an artist named Free Thug. I'm not. They say Free Young Thug. So so Young Thug is Young Thug still. Locked up. I thought he was out. No, he out. Uh, he out. Yeah, he posted bail. Oh well. Yeah, I thought he posted bail. Uh, no, free guap. Yeah. yeah. So, so Fetty Wap was locked his, up. Um, yeah. He waved his arm. Yeah. Fetty, Fetty Wap locked up. Yeah, he only gonna see half the time. So I know that was Fetty. Three hundred. I ain't even peeping at first. I'm sitting here like, yeah, what, what he locked up for? <laughs> <laughs> so he said, he said that one in there slick. I ain't even peeped at. I love it. <laughs> so, so what? Break down three hundred. That's um. Leo Cohen. That's Leo Cohen. Leo Cohen. Uh, Tom Moskowitz. Kevin Lyles. There's one more point on it. Okay. 
Yeah, so, no, uh, no, what, 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 Roger Gold, Roger Gold. Roger Gold, Roger Gold. Yeah, Roger Gold. okay. Yeah. So, so that's a lot of major industry, like for people that don't know those names, these are the guys that have been running for oh, wow. the urban if, if you don't know those like names, just cut your radio off. I was about to say because I didn't know them. And when he said, they sat and gave me that rundown. Kill them, kill them out. Kill today. Yeah. They said, uh, who, who talked about out? Swish a house, yeah, dip set. He bought out everybody. Yeah, Gucci, the whole and Gucci. Atlanta. And Gucci said, Diplomats. I probably shouldn't say that on the radio. We're going to let that breathe. Yeah, yeah. But just know, free goo out. <laughs> That's what it is. So, so what's what's the what's the plan with the uh, with the situation? Like, you, you already got the you already got the, the first hit. Oh man, yeah, they they looking for the next one already. Uh, but yeah, that's to, how it they're works. About to push the button. Uh, the official bankroll video is done, so we're looking for that in probably the next the next week actually. And um, yeah, we're gonna be everywhere. We ain't get a call for a rock for that. You know what I'm saying? I try to get a video. We get no calls, but we get no call. You know how the phone go. This nigga say you know how the phone go. This nigga pull that bullshit. Hey, <laughs> bull nah, but you know we uh we working, man. The kids, the kid is working, man. You know what I'm saying? That's and uh, it, sometimes we we sit in the car like, yo, we signed. Like, oh, yeah. We can't it, even it, believe it. It, it, it hit me what? every day. It hit <laughs> me every day. I'm, I'm sitting at McDonald's and I'm thinking like, damn, I'm still figuring I got it out. money like, for this McDouble. I'm like, shit, you <laughs> <laughs> signed. Yeah, we <laughs> get Add Mac sauce, please. <laughs> yeah. Please. Yeah. So yeah, it's a good situation over there. You know, all them, all them dudes, they got over 300. They all in the top ten, top twenty billboards. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Fetty Wap more, more than once. Yeah. 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 Fetty Wap yeah. got, got, got three in the top fifty. You know well, what I mean? Yeah. You got Young Thug too. So Thug, that, you that, know what I'm saying? T yeah. Wayne is in the top ten. You know, the, his joint. So, like, so were all those artists with them before, as they, they were getting there, or did they, they sign took them? them? They took them to them. To okay. Them levels, yeah. You know what I'm See, like before, honestly, before, like you know, I'm familiar with all the names, Todd and Kevin, and yeah. no, and um. Leo definitely. Leo definitely. Um, but I wasn't I, I wasn't aware that they like I know Kevin's been doing his management thing. Yeah. But I wasn't aware that they had um started a label, the three hundred. Yeah. So until I heard the announcement about tape. Yeah. And then I you know, looked at the Wikipedia and all that shit. So tell you something, they got up. the muscle over there. They know what they got the formula, yeah, they know they what they're know. doing. Mm -hmm. They got the muscle, but they, they small enough to be agile and you know, move yeah. around the way they need to move around. But they don't play over there, you know what I'm saying? So, and um, dude looked at Tate was like, you the one. I'm like, ah, they say that to everybody, but the way you said it, I'm like, yeah, maybe. You know what I'm saying? So, it's so, a crazy situation, man. So what was that crazy. meeting like? Man, that meeting was cool, man. It ain't nothing like what I was expecting to be. I'm expecting this big old building with, hey, how you doing, Mr. Cobain? Oh, no, nah, nah. Nah. nah, I get in there, they in there chilling. They got thug blasting, bunch of little white kids, uh, thug talking about stuff. Hey, let them niggas. I'm like, oh, shit. He's I white go in kid. there, uh, Leo got his shoes off. He's sitting in a chair, <laughs> Indian style. I'm like, oh, he like just started this, preaching man. to yeah. us. Right. Uh, yeah, like, I'm like, man, yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, so, like, so, how did that situation come about? Like, did y'all have, did you have a relationship with Leo? Nah, well, I, I mean, you know, I, I knew. Kevin for a minute, you right. know what I'm saying? But I told Kevin about Tate a while back, you know, but Kevin on his management thing, I think it kind of went in one end out the other, but you know, he heard it, but um, the phone just started ringing, you know what I mean? And you know, my, my ties are in Rockefeller, Lenny S and all, right, right, right. Rock Nation, not not necessarily with Leon and all that, right. and um, the phone just started ringing, 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 and I was like, man, we're not ready for a situation yet, you know what I'm saying? Like. I wasn't really entertaining it, right. but they kept pressing and pressing to the point where I was like, all right, well, let me hear what you got to say. And I was like, what you going to do with this record? This is a Be More record. You know, it's kind of regional. What you going to do with it? And when he gave me the lineup, like, you know about Houston rappers, right? That's me. I let people into Houston. I let people into Atlanta with Gucci and all that. I right. let people into Harlem with Diplomats and all that. I'm about to bring the world to Be More. All right, cool. We'll be, up, we'll be up there Monday. That's you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Or just more. Like, that, I just needed to hear the plan. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I didn't want to go on, you know, shout out to all the labels, but I didn't want to go on no extra big label and, you know, get shelved and all that. Like, everybody on their label is hot. 
and got billboard status. And they got the form over there and they got the muscle over there. And I just felt that was the best situation. And that's what we did. Uh, that's that's definitely good shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. And, and take, let me tell you a story, cause like you're not like you got this dude next to you, like this motherfucker puts in work. Oh, yeah. Like he that's told me cool. about you had to be almost about a, year a year ago. ago. Yeah, about a year ago. And he gave me a mix tape. I was like, yo, this shit, this kid is dope. Oh yeah, and, I was you know, he, 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 he told he told me. Kind of See, I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, 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 to, he told me the story about um the homeless thing and living in the house and everything. You and your peoples, and y'all was making your own beats and all that shit. Like this is all I remember from back then. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, well, he gonna do it. I'm like, where is he? Where the night? The night? I ain't hear nothing else about you until the record came out. Oh, yeah. Until the record started playing. Yeah, so everybody up at this station, like, you know, the, the majority of, uh, I guess, a lot of people that may have heard you, the first thing that they're hearing is bankrolls. Like, we done heard, like, 20, 30 songs of, <laughs> yeah. before we got the bankrolls. Yeah. So it was kind of like we watched the growth. I mean, the, the, the mix that we heard was hot, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just, hit, he just hit me off with it on the slide, like, yo, let me know what you think about this. And I'm like, oh, man, here we go. And I put it in the car, like, here we Damn, go. young boy Here going on. Go. Like the first intro, you rapping something about your baby mom or something. Yeah, something yeah, going yeah, in. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm playing it. I'm driving down to Atlanta. I'm driving down to Atlanta. I got my young boys in the car with me. They like, yo, who this? I'm like, yeah, he's from Baltimore. They like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I've been rocking with it for a minute. Like it was in rotation. You know what I'm saying? So for me to hear that and then to hear bank rolls, it's kind of like, okay. Yeah, yeah, he got it. He got that. That's that's one right there. Yeah, you 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 see the growth, you see the, the versatility and all that. Like, yeah. Well, I seen it. I'm telling you, I seen that early. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like this story and all that, but you know the reason why I actually took the meet with him at first, the dude had a record called Cushion Amsterdam that y'all really ain't hear that record, but the record it's so crazy. I was like, yeah, I need to meet this dude tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, um, humble kid. You know, good work ethic. You know, and you're a genuine dude, and I'm a genuine dude, and that's the formula right there. We believe in each other, we committed to the team, not one person. No egos. And, yeah, there ain't no egos here, you know what I mean? And, you know, we was talking about this shit the other day, and you know, because we don't bullshit over here, I'm gonna tell you what we said. Because I fuck with Tim Trees, I know, I know personally, but it was a dope track, but nigga just wasn't flowing on it. Nigga was, it was just like a waste of a dope track in so many, so many words. That, that, that's just how we felt. <laughs> so, so my question is, you know, how did uh, how did y'all uh, come about getting that track? Or was it just like some of you took the freestyle? Yeah, I was or? just in the house. We actually, cause we um, I called the Beyonce with my CD. We just dropped it. But the way we released it is we uh, released the Bankrolls freestyle video. And at the end it said album out now, mixtape out now, whatever, whatever. That's all the post event. We wasn't even gonna use it, and then it just took off. I'm like, oh, okay. So once it took off, did uh, Riley reach out to you? Or how did it work out? Yeah, he, he reached out because it's like he, he had the choice. It was everywhere. People was like, yo, you, you responsible for this? You behind this? He like, no, I don't know about it. And then, <laughs> yeah, then he reached out. Was like, yo, we gotta get up. We need to put a hook on this. Put this in song format. And by then, they was already calling. Of of all Baltimore. Classics, cause there's a couple. What made you decide to, to, to choose that one? Well, I um, I like to have fun. I can I come up in the dancing era, and when that beat comes on, back when we was on the docks, niggas was going off. People dance though when that People, comes on. You have to. My grandma would cut that up, so. It's, 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 it's a crowd favorite, and a couple people did it, and I was like, nah, that ain't how you do it. And I don't even, I didn't even know somebody else did it. Yeah, a couple I didn't hear people it. did it. People, somebody else did it? Yeah. Uh, doesn't matter. Yeah. Not but, uh, but you didn't <laughs> hear it for a reason. Yeah, yeah, that's why I said it doesn't matter. So, it was yeah. Good. yeah, man, and it was just history. Yo, it's crazy because, um, you know, me not being from here, I don't know the history behind the record. Mm. So when they let me hear the record, I'm like, but you was here when the record was out. You probably didn't give a fuck at the time. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, to keep it, keep it a hundred. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you was here when the record was out. Yeah, but it wasn't. It didn't hit home for me. You know, it didn't hit. I, home. I know what you're yeah, saying, man. though. And then, um, 
But then when I seen all the like the people dancing to the record and sending videos and dancing, the first day, I was like, oh yeah, I like this record. <laughs> you said the first day? <laughs> yeah, the first day. Yeah, we did uh, cause we I actually uploaded it mainly on uh, well I put it on YouTube and Facebook. Facebook that shit did like 60k the first day. And videos started coming and people too stepping and cutting up. And then after that, it was that was it. That was it. That's 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 crazy. That so so Raleigh reached out to you and said what? What was that called? What was that like, yo? You gotta do you gotta do it in his voice too. He was like, yo, we got made up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you did this so crazy, yo. Come through, yo. We gotta put a hook on us, and we gone. That's it. You just that. That's it. And that, that was that was it. That was it. So, so the first verse, the first verse is just Riley. the uh, just the first verse. Yeah, that was it. And it wasn't was, that. Uh, um, the came with the birth, new dance, and video and all. That was it. Okay. And so, yeah. so, so let's talk about that because we just did the um. Who was that? I don't know. Was it summer, summer jam, spring jam? Shit at Baltimore Sound Stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there down there with uh, Damon Blue, and uh, you did your thing down there. But the energy once you and your team hit that stage. Yeah, the, it's not the, even once we hit. The, it's when you hit that boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah it's like I don't know. But I'm, I'm talking about y'all energy as far oh, yeah, as the was, dancing, yeah. the, like y'all control the stage, and control the crowd. Yeah. Like, where, where did that come from? Is that just? A regular thing, y'all having fun. Oh yeah, we just that's, that that's, like that's the big thing. That's that's what I'm trying to do. Baltimore is really depressing right now, and no people bullshit. people think like everybody too gangster to dance. We never too good to dance. I I'll shoot you, but I like to have fun. You feel me? Why I can't have fun and be a thug? You know, like Bobby Schmurda, perfect example. That's one ratchet little ugly nigga, but. He enjoy yourself. Life is, you know, you never know when you're gonna go. I realized that using my parents, you never know. If, if we can go to Mar, I'm not gonna leave without enjoying the little bit of life I got. That's, so, that's that's real. Oh yeah, shout out to our dancers too, Marky D and Carter. Man, them, let me tell you about dedication. They got in a bad car accident. Like car, like car flipped over. Oh, dude shit. had to carry the dude from under the car. And then the dude they got, in, the people they got in the uh, accident with tried to bank the one dude while the other dude was unconscious. What? Had a show four hours later. They was there. You gonna you gonna see the video. The dude called he he still got his arm in the uh cast, in cast. a cast. And he cutting up. I think I saw that on Instagram, he was looking at his hand. Yeah, something. yeah, he still he still wrapped up. And they they, they out there cutting, like getting it. That's you don't get that that's, every day. That's crazy. Shout out to them, Mark yeah. D. Carter. Uh, that's that's crazy. The team, the team is dedicated, man. Like these these young cats is dedicated, yeah. man. Yeah. I love that. I've been seeing that like the, the what they call it, the Take Cobain ca campaign. Yeah, take yeah. Cobain campaign. Like that shit that shit is it's serious. Real. That shit is serious. And I, I like what you've been doing with uh posting up all the people that uh posted the pictures of you and retweeting too, and everything. I'm too Baltimore for Hollywood. I can't do it. I I and I will take every picture. That, every picture. That, that's that's real shit. Well, I'm gonna tell you first of all, don't change that mentality. All right. Don't ever change. And if you don't change that, what's going to end up happening is you're gonna be one of the superstars that's ever walked this earth. That's what we shooting for. That's what they say. That's, that's what we shooting for. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. You know, people. I, I know rappers understand that you need the people to be where you are, or to get where you want to be. So when you stop taking taking pictures and I repost every tweet, every mention, every video, I even matter of fact we did a we did another radio show. I put I put my number up because that that phone line was down. I said you know what we here Facetime. Me. I'm still getting calls. <laughs> I'm probably gonna change my number, but now this is what you do. You don't change the number. You just get a second phone. Right, right, right. I was thinking that too. Because, because you can't change the number because you never know that that might be the money number. Or well, you just get that you get that phone yeah. to management. That might be the money number. You're gonna get that uh, billion dollar call one day off that phone. Daddy be waiting. <laughs> Three hundred and ten. But, Wait, yeah, but you just did the uh, the future show this past week. Oh no, we we shut the future show down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like shout out the future, but everybody is calling it the Tate Cobain and Future Show. They was like, yeah, I heard uh, Future came to your concert. I said, you gotta stop. <laughs> Y'all have to stop. Nah, shout out to Future. Yeah, shout out to Future. He definitely did this thing. Shout out to everybody that opened up to everybody. That was good. But yeah, we, we did that thing dirty. All right. We did that thing dirty. Yeah, and I heard the show was sold out, so. 
you getting you getting a great look right now. That was a, that was a big stage, man. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that, that was the biggest stage. Let me tell you, let me cry. Tell you, like the whole city was out for that. Yeah. Oh, whole me, fucking city. Let me tell you about the team. Not for me. These cats. <laughs> you're not Ray and Bird. Oh, on the air, Omar. I ain't trying to bash you, but these cats didn't know Pier Six. I'm like, yo, we oh, y'all never, y'all never like, Pier Six. We gotta show up here at six. They're like, okay, where that club at? Like, they ain't know. I'm where thinking it's that? downtown by the docks somewhere. Yeah, and so like when they walked in and seen all them chairs and that stadium type feel, they was like, oh, I didn't even know this is down here. That, that, that's right. where Anthony Hamilton comes to perform. Oh, Jill Scott was there the week Jill before. Scott comes to perform. Yeah. So yeah, just and just, and just, and just, and just and give you the kind of the idea yeah. what kind of that, That's so, how yeah. big that is. <laughs> and that's it. And that shit was packed. Nick. What? No, we left and it was people that couldn't get in that was posted up on the outskirts. Nick had chairs and everything on the outside. I'm, I'm like, just oh, trying to hear the show. Right. I'm <laughs> like, that's crazy. That is crazy. That's it's it's man. Yeah, hustling. <laughs> <laughs> we that's don't make that show, yeah. Shit, that's good shit. So um I need I need a copy of that footage when y'all get get it finished, edited up for the yeah, website and everything. Right, no doubt. But um so so the record I just played. So what is that? That's the intro to Live Hazy. That motherfucker's me. Oh man. That's that I, that 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 record has my favorite line that I ever said in life that nobody will ever get. And when I say it, and you go back and listen to it, you go, damn. I said. I robbed the Williams sisters, get my grip on flubber, hating niggas, doubt the fire, but they chicks gonna love us. Robin Williams, his two biggest movies, Miss Doubt Fire and Flubber. Hating niggas doubt the fire, but they chicks gonna love it. I'll rob the Williams sisters, get my grip on flubber. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite line ever. Oh ever. shit. So that that's off of a upcoming project. What is this? Uh, well it's not it talking on it. It was kinda out, but we pulled it down. Cause right. we, didn't, we didn't know Bankroll. If we knew Bankroll was gonna do what it did, we would have held out on dropping the CD. Okay. Like I said it was just a throwaway song, so we took it down. We a lot of people got it, but we gonna remaster it, put it out. Do them right. Add a couple new joints to it. Yep. Have to. Have to. All right. Um, industry wise, uh, anybody that you uh, look up to musically. Uh, that you really. Fuck. This is when a, a conversation gets a little awkward. I don't really. I don't listen to rap music. I'm wow. an R&B guy. Wow. We have this conversation all the time. Do you sing? Carl Thomas, you're out there somewhere. I fuck with Carl. I forgot. I'm going to sign Carl Thomas when I start my label. And yeah, I'm a Mr. <laughs> Cheeks fan. Sign Carl I'm going to find Mr. Cheeks too. We're going to get him back in the studio. Mm -hmm. that's, that's that's what I like. Cheeks in the studio. You just ain't hearing that shit. But he in there. <laughs> I hate to say it. That's what it is. That, that hurt it. He in the yeah. studio. He just... Now I like I mean I, I like I like my label mates really I like Thug Thug is real uh, ambient with his sound you know people talk so much mess about Thug but at the end of the day it's all about the art it's all about the craft you know yes I can't get with the dress code person oh no I mean but you can't see that because I know you was a Prince fan I'm a Prince fan but I never I know you like the Vandross fan too yeah but Luther dressed like a man. But, but behind closed doors, <laughs> you feel me? But it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all about the art. Yeah, no, Luther was dead. What? Yeah, well, Luther yeah, did. It was about the girls. Yeah, love songs like that. He had to be free. Frank Ocean. That's that's a powerful man right there. But at the same time, we know what he do. Yeah. Thug, he's just more out there. You know? Yeah, he's. Oh, Thug is gay. What? Where did you be? Thug is. Yeah, Nia's been. He's gone. been under a rock for he's, a little while. But the thing is, in Atlanta. They they will kill you about thug. Thug is thug is heavy, but thug is a thug. Take Cobain. Well, Atlanta's a whole bunch of gang. Okay. <laughs> it ain't all gang. D1 Entertainment. It ain't all gang. Okay. I can explain it. Ain't all gang. Okay. So 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 <laughs> as far as far as the crew, like um, who else is on the team? Oh man. As far as artists. Uh, we got Rab Mel. Uh, that's the video. Video he hate being called the video man. The video the videographer. Uh, we got Dez Wayne, graphic artist, YG Beats. He, he's amazing. Uh, we got the dancers called him Marty D. And we got Omar, Far Rock, whatever you want to call him. And we got the little ugly black dude that, that, that gets on the microphone and talks a bunch of unnecessary bullshit. And that's it. Any, we, 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 we got a lot of other people, family. Any, any other artists? <sighs> no. No. Not no. yet. Okay. Not yet. We're looking for expansion, but right now we're trying to get our feet in. Right. right. We Fo can help. We can focus help on the Take Cobain campaign, and we're right. gonna get there. Right. We're gonna reach back. 
Oh yeah, definitely. All right, cool. Cause I, I need a, you know, I'm trying to put out an album. Mm -hmm. No bullshit. I need a it's deal. A I, I, I need a situation. You know, I'm trying to grab some of these artists here, put them with some majors. Mm -hmm. You know, do do a Baltimore version of what uh, some of these dudes have done. Because a lot of these dudes stole a lot from me already. Mm -hmm. sure no bullshit. I've been oh, here yeah. for a long time. Sure they have. But yeah, but it, it ain't about me right now. It's about the city, though. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. And, and I, you know, I was telling um, Dan Blue was here the other day, and I was telling Blue the same thing. Like, this is um, the best look that Baltimore's had almost uh, maybe ever, ever, yeah, yeah. ever. Especially on on a hip hop front, ever. Um, with yourself and your new situation. And congratulations on that. Appreciate that. Um, but that's that's a major move. Um, with, with uh, you know, Tessa's playing the background role, but what Tessa's doing with Future and Free Bands, mm -hmm. that's major. Um, Damon's on tour right now with King Los. King Los is killing right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Baltimore has a lot of strong talent. And don't get me wrong, it's, it's a lot of the OGs that still putting in work, and I, I'm just kind of lost on why they're not getting with the wave. Well, my, my thing is, though, uh, in Baltimore, I've heard all my life, we don't support, we don't get none of that, yada, yada, and we, they can't wait for the market to come here. Right. It's about to be here. Okay. And I, I, just, I just can't wait to see who fumbles. I, I, I want nothing but success for everybody, but I just can't wait to see who fumbles. Shout out, to, uh, shout out, Young Moose too with his situation. Yeah, Young Moose, and OTM, that's I, why. I, I just can't wait to see who capitalizes. Young Goldie, like it, it's a lot of it's a lot of strong talent here right mm -hmm. now. So, so who is your favorite artist from Baltimore? Take Home. Before Take Home. Before. Franksky. <laughs> <laughs> That's, um, that's that political bullshit. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, Cisco, man. Okay. Say what you want. Nah, nah, I, Listen, I, fuck, I fuck with Cisco. I know, look, incomplete. Your R&B, like, I can rock with you on the R&B shit. Yeah, Paul Thomas, I'm huge Carl Thomas fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I can rock with you on the R&B shit. Yeah, that's, Carl Thomas, I'm huge Carl Thomas fans. Man, Carl uh, Thomas is what inspired me to take putting together a full body of work emotionally emotionally and lyrically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, 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 I know that from start to finish. Yeah. I believe my sister was made to that CD. Yeah. That's nasty, but <laughs> I was, yeah, it was just brought up around just straight R&B. Shout out my grandma, Nana Cobain. I know she listening. And yeah, yeah baby. But yeah, I love R&B. Cisco, man, it gotta be Cisco. Gotta be Cisco. I just need Cisco to make a comeback though. He tried. Didn't he have a reality show? He, he's still trying. Like, they had a reality show for like a week. Yeah, they had a reality, they had a reality show. show. Oh, we, well, yeah, it was like Yeah, they had a week. Drew Hill joint. They had two different ones, actually. They had one that was on, then they had one that oh, didn't yeah. quite make it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, was, I I that. It was one on, uh, it was one on, I think it was TV One or something, and then there was another oh, one that was just an online thing that actually lasted like a week or something. But like, I just talked to his management the other day, like, they still torn and everything. Yeah, but, um, that's good. But, so is yeah. he still doing the thong song? We need answers. Yeah. Ah. Wow. I mean, you know, he's in the national. Bank so. Rose is gonna be our thong song. Right? Yeah. Like that's that's gonna be a song that they always song. gonna want us to perform. Yeah. As, as long as you just don't go totally uh, Cisco on us. Oh no no! He's about to remake the thong song. Yeah. Yeah. I would kill the thong Put some bars to it. I ain't gonna that's lie. I would prefer the thong song, but I just wouldn't touch it. Some things you don't touch. Bank Rose had to be touched. You know, you, you ever seen a uh, Tropic Thunder movie? Yes. Uh, you know when he says, "You never go for a retard." <laughs> Alright, you never go for a Cisco. You never go for a Cisco. <laughs> Young Thug is going for a Cisco. Yeah. Trash band pants with the dragon and the, the Dennis Rodman head. Yeah. 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 No. The club won't let me. But keep keep the energy going, oh man. It's, I love it. It's great right now. So so we about to get into this black and white joint. Tell me about this record. Man. Black and white. See, the intro is nasty. But the intro, look, I, 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 I pulled a drink. The intro was uh, charged up. Right. And black and white is back to back. Exactly. So if you don't have enemies before you play this, you're going to have some after the, you play the song. Just the, like the intro is much better than charged up, by the way. Wow. We'll take that. Thank you. I'll definitely take that. <laughs> the intro for to black and white or the intro, the one I already played? No, the one you, the one you already played. Yeah, that, yeah that, that shit is fucking five but, million but, but times when better. When you were playing Charged Up, we were driving here, my son was sitting there like, why is he playing this wax? He ain't say shit because they ain't gonna curse around me. But, I mean, that's what he was saying. He was saying well, He's like, I, I why is DNA playing this wax ass shit? Uh, I played that after I played all the real to beef records. To paraphrase it. All the real beef records to show that that's not really a beef record. 
Yeah, yeah. I got where you going. I had to tell him that. Now, that back to back enough. record is strong. Yeah, back to back was was unnecessary. Yeah, it was back nasty. Back. And I, I I was in Sinai and I woke up uh five o'clock, six o'clock this morning and all I seen was back to back, back to back, back to back. Yeah. 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 You don't you don't think you don't think Drake should have did it? I think you should have. It's, it's unnecessary. It. I was just having this conversation. The second one. See, the thing is, it's two different ball games. Yeah. Drake should be battling Sade, and Meek <laughs> should 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 battle Cash live. I mean, but my thing was Drake. Where was all this time test, testosterone when Murder Moop was in gas? I want. I want answers. I think, but they were supposed to be. Um, they were supposed to be getting paid to battle or something. Listen, listen. And Drake didn't show up or something, listen, right? He not what? getting. He not getting. Who was supposed to battle Murder Moot? Drake. Drake. Yeah, they was like an actual battle, like uh, you know, they do all the um. But now nah, he had to respond to this. But there's no need to. He had to respond. To, yeah, to, to it, respond to Murder Moot. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's weak. Mur Mur Murder Moot. That's, that's like saying there's no need to respond to Mano. You had much. to respond to Mano. Yeah. Not, really. Uh, not really. Not really. Not, not really. really. Not when you're Drake. Not when you're Drake. Because yeah. you're, you're gonna. He responded to me. At some point, you, can, you there's some people you don't need to respond to. Like Drake's yeah. in a different bracket in the music. He'll be responding all the time. Like Drake. Like if Drake was Meek, Meek would have to respond to both those guys you just said. Right. Drake yeah. doesn't have to because Drake is stratosphere right now. Right. And he on another level. Like, and that like and I, I said this to somebody like earlier. Like this battle's going to do more for Meek. Than it will for Drake, yeah. and I don't like you said. Drake shit is unnecessary because right. Drake is just he's like, all right, hit, hit not Drake. Drake showing that he ain't to be fucked with. Yeah, he, 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 he don't, don't need to show, show it though. That Drake shit is like Mortal Kombat. He said that. He said I can do pride. Like it was unnecessary. Yeah, it's pride. It's just showing you though. I'm not the one to fuck with. He even said he said you know I may regret this. Like I don't even need to do it all. This nigga said it's been four days and you ain't say nothing yet. I said that's it. I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. Yeah, he got a lot of killer bars on there though. So I'm 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 looking forward to. Um, me coming back with but something. Anybody that knows me knows that me being quiet is not good. <laughs> He's quiet. He tweeted a Z. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he's quiet. Meek being quiet is, is good to you? That's not that's not good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about to be something. It's only been it's a deck. Be it's only been a deck. Should have took a five. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have responded no, no, to charge up. Not a charge. Five, six, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't have responded to charge up Friday. Mm -hmm. But this this George just came out today. I wouldn't have responded to charge up. I wouldn't have responded back. But, but this but they didn't still he didn't waste no time tweeting. He didn't no. steal it wrong. But this oh, no. is. Extra direct, like everybody's saying it's indirect because uh, Drake's not saying it's people name. please stop comparing it to Eva. It will never be that close. Yeah, see, that's please what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. Th those are the records I saw to show the up. The record you played. For me. All, you, you played. I, you, I played Ether, I played Takeover, I played um, the Beanie Joint going at Jay Z. Bridges over. Did you play the Bridges over? I think I didn't go back that far. Wow. Uh, yeah. The I, 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 just over. Think, I just didn't go back that far. Only Many more battle did, records did, better did than album. this one. That yeah, over all of them. Play. Uh, I bitch. played the common bitching you. <laughs> hey, oh, bitching you. Yeah. Oh. The bitching, yeah. Yeah, by common. Yeah. This is yeah. Ice Cube. Yeah. Yeah. The cannabis joint. Cannabis I, I didn't get to the second round knockout. I didn't what? get to that. Second round I, knockout. I didn't have time. You came in. <laughs> we got time. We, we had to get to the Tickle Bank. Show me that G's in that goo wop, baby. I'm out of soul fresh. All right, you're right. So you going Jaden? Mm. I, I've been doing that for the last two weeks. I, I thought I'd just give it a break for a second. I'm, I might get back to that though. <laughs> what are we, <laughs> we, we, we going to do? We're going to do this uh, Take Cobain, Black and White. We might get into a couple of those joints too. So let's get into that. Uh, Core DJ Wild Shout DNA. Once again, phone lines open 347-809-6638. 347-809-6638. Hit us on that Twitter, Instagram. At 66 Raw, 66 Raw, ready on that IG. Wild Child DNA, O underscore G Brody. Yeah. 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 Not when the shots came out. I'm talking about when what's be who's uh what's be came Yeah, when what's be came out. When the pot was gone too though. Yeah, they both was going, that's crazy. So, yeah. So yeah, the beef can sometimes get out of hand. Mm hmm Yeah. Well yeah, we still got the kid take cocaine in the building. Yeah, yeah. Yo, take so um, like I was saying, we got a ritual here. Anytime you step in the 660 Raw Studios, you got um, you got bless us with some bars, man. Okay. So um, I'm gonna let you rock off of this right here. You ready? Okay. All right, take Cobain, Core DJ Wild Child, your name we live from Lab OG Brody. Yeah. Take Cobain is here. Take Cobain campaign. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah. 
Look, I said 60 years old, I had to pack a pistol And now I'm 23, it's crazy that I'm rapping with you Uh, was growing up, my mom was sacrificial They had no sneakers, but uncle and them was booming out the speakers And they was selling drugs at the local playground My mama says, you better come in the house, don't play around, huh And them the type I like to stay around And now we letting up them K-Rounds I told nigga from the get-go I never change up, never turn Cisco I'm coming for the cookies, want them to Bisco I'm selling white boys to the teens like Panic at the Disco <laughs> I'm still going, every day College bitches love me, like I'm Chick-fil-A And not the same song, I like to serenade And get up in that pussy and let it marinate My father called my phone, trying to interrogate I told him I'm a robot, like a surrogate I mean a surrogate, I need a pair of chicks <laughs> Pair of kicks, they like to catch the skeet The hottest young nigga, I got an old soul I got a gold mine, I got a gold flow I'm talking OD, we're selling dodos <laughs> Back when we ain't know what JoJo's was And now nigga hotter than the sun though <laughs> Nigga, I'm the one though I ain't got back the gun though I go to PA just to hit the gun show Young nigga grew up in the church Mama had peppermints in a fucking purse Who was gonna get it? Let the nigga know I run the city, uh I came up on method, man Zakara was my favorite shit I had to cover my baby mama more than once Because she was my favorite bitch Please excuse my French Boule bouche or whatever they say The hottest nigga need to put me on with K-Slay uh. And every day is a payday 300, got me on the line with thug Free Gucci man, that's a cold motherfucker Cold bloody, cold chill But hope to steal with 17 years old Trying to sell pills Back in them days we shot that from a meal And now a nigga heating up like a foreman grill I am <laughs> Green eggs and ham, I'm going dumb dumb Shout out young move, huh? Get in the booth and spit nothing but the truth, huh? Yeah, uh, what's the next beat? I got more balls, I'm coming back next week. Oh, you want me to switch it up? Yeah, we can switch it up. <laughs> I'm about to rip it up. Uh, where they at, though? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh I was just gonna let you ride with that one, but you can have this too. Nah, I like that fun. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, I used to give a fuck. Now I give a fuck less. What do I think of success? It sucks too much stress. Freddie Gray pass got the city upset. Now I'm on my little school the shit. They say I'm up next. Look at that. The hottest nigga here. Uh, I was 16. My uncle was stealing out of stores to get me Miss Scheme. My shit's mean. <laughs> I bought the knob because the shit clean. Krispy Kreme donuts, just the go nuts. Just suck the and take both nuts. Hold up. I used to skip school. Was a young cool nigga. <laughs> Look, in fifth grade I had to switch blade. Listening to Boosie, wanted to get the tip fade. Nigga, and picture that now I came up and nothing changed up I got famous, I had to get my fame up, my changed up I stayed down until I came up and never changed up And now I'm here to fuck the game up, what? Baltimore City, where I'm from Come round here, you better have your gun I'm an east side rider, nigga, don't be dumb A lot of niggas die here, nigga, don't be one Huh, y'all niggas got my gun a little bigger God bless the bitch that can't handle her liquor Fuck making friends cause I'd rather have Skrilla Take high for the rob a Baltimore nigga for real They don't show no love anyway I could rob boss man any day with any K A-K-S-K I prefer the Millie though Fuck fuck Fendi and get the sloppy on video Come on Ooh. Follow shorty to his dome That nigga fool yeah, out Hold up I said <laughs> Come on Follow Shirley to his home, that nigga D-boy will catch five to the dome Run up in that nigga crib, ski mask in the chrome Tell that nigga put them drugs in the happy, then I'm gone, yeah, yeah That's a glass bag, nigga, I can fit your whole career in a trash bag, nigga <laughs> Name shots, I do that ass man Ah uh. Okay Yeah, man yeah. Alright I just like to have fun, man Yeah, man, take cocaine yeah. Nice. All right. I just like to have fun.
I like the fact that you can fucking freestyle, man. Oh, yeah, man. Some of these motherfuckers come in here bullshit, don't they, Brody? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Like, I represent <laughs> my black man. You said Drake was Drake. <laughs> no, no, I was playing. I was playing. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Look, see? Okay, I, thought, I thought you had something else. He was right. I, I thought you had something. Set me I thought you wanted to do it right. Right. No, I don't need to. Cause they be cheating. Yeah. Yeah, they be saying all types of shit. I set them up. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> DNA set me up. Hey, 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 I like that. I like that. No question. Seiko Bay is here. Oh man, 300 entertainment. Yo, Tate, first of all, thank you for coming out. Oh man, thank you for having me, man. Thank you for having me. No doubt, no doubt. Keep making incredible music, You're doing a great job thus far. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, what, what's, what's the ultimate goal? The ultimate goal is to bring the market here, create a platform, a platform I didn't have. You feel me? And uh, of course, be right by my people. Rebuild the city. Get the kids something to believe in. Take over and campaign. That's good shit, man. No question, no question. So, um, have you been have you been active with any of the uh, school tours that they've been having with the high school tours yet? Um, I've done, I've done, I've we've been everywhere. We've okay. done everything. They um, I posted them on the block party the other night. Shot the Keenan system. Okay. We couldn't make that, but um, yeah, I you know. A lot of sweet sixteens and all that stuff. Nothing. I'm performing at Montebello actually soon. Okay. For a back to school thing, uh, back to school party August twenty second. You know I mean, yeah, we we out here. We for the kids. Y'all need us, call us. We everywhere. Oh, you already know. You already know. I'm uh, actually working on putting something together, and um, you're probably gonna be like the first uh, call for the um, for this yeah. situation I'm working on. Oh yeah, we did. Yes, sir. We did. So yeah, man. Shout to you. Shout to uh, Far Rocky to step out. But uh, like I said, that's a good brother right there. Yeah, man. That's yeah, a good brother. He definitely yeah. put in the work. He know it, it seemed like he know what he's doing. Right, right. It seemed like like I was kind of nervous when he told me about you a year ago, and then I, I ain't getting nothing else. I was kind of nervous meeting him. I don't trust New York niggas. <laughs> like ah, every movie a New York nigga and they shite me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Rico, you feel me? Just a bunch of those uh, crazy niggas. So yeah, man. But sometimes you gotta take that leap of faith and believe that God got your best interests, and just better do what it do. No question, no question. So uh, you want to give any uh, shout outs or anything before you, before you get out of here? Yeah, uh, first of all, man, thank God. Coming from where I come from, the life I was living, the situations I was put in, it's hard to make it out, but we made it. And um, Nana Cobain, like I said, she listening. And if I get out of here and I ain't shout her out, she gonna get my ass. Nana Cobain. Nana Cobain. Had the mints up in church, you just said, right? <laughs> yeah. Wonder how you had the mints up in church too. Uh, D1 Entertainment, 300 Rav, Live Hazy. Follow me on the gram, Real Tate Cobain, Twitter Tate underscore Cobain, all that there. Shout out to my baby mothers, uh, future baby mothers, that's the ones that's I don't know about baby mothers. <laughs> All of y'all, I love y'all, appreciate y'all. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I'm gonna tell you right now, like y'all want too many new baby mom. Oh no, you know once you hit seven kids, you, you ain't gotta pay child support no more. Oh, that's how it works? Man? Yeah. Oh shit. No, wait, really? There. Where, where, where you at now? <laughs> Who gonna be lucky number seven? Drop me weight. <laughs> right. But what, look, whoever, whoever can't have kid number seven, just know you, you fucked it up for the other baby mothers. They gonna, they gonna hate you. <laughs> they gonna hate you. But I'm gonna make sure you good. So if you single or not, and you, you fertile, come. We trying to have fun. That's cool. Wow. 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 And you, you know they got a fertile app, like what is it? Uh, um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. App? yeah, yeah, they got a fertility app. Yeah. Yep, I got it. <laughs> it's <laughs> not for you though, info. it's not for you. I know, I know. <laughs> I know, send me your info. DM. <laughs> All you bitches ever wanted was your bank, bro. This nigga is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> man, shit. Um, Yo, it's, it's been fun rocking out with you, man. Um,